Here is the chat that we have created in the previous video. It works, but let's be honest, it doesn't look so great. From the client side, it looks really ugly. It's just a mess of messages. Let's make our chat a bit friendly by colorizing its output. I have found this package called Colors PHP. The description says that it can help us to add colors to console scripts. So exactly what we need. Here is some demo, installation instructions. So copy this and install via Composer. Let's see some examples. How can we use this package? We create an object of class color, pass a string that we want to colorize, and then call methods to style the string. OK, it's clear. Here is again our message chat. So, first of all, I want to separate information messages, like this one or this one, from other real messages. Also, maybe we can somehow separate a user's name from his or her message. I'm not sure how, but we can try something. I want to start with a greeting message. We create an instance of color and input the class name. Now let's change its foreground color to green. And let's prove that this welcome message is now printed in color. Oh, looks nice, not so boring now. Well, Move back to code and we continue with other information messages. When someone leaves the chat, what color will fit here? Maybe red? And when someone joins, will be blue. Let's try. Again, create an instance of color and change a foreground color to red. And the same here, but with blue. OK, let's try. Start the server. The first client connects. The second one. Then write some message. And then leave. Wow, that's much, much better than what we had before. Information message are colored now. And the last step is to decide what to do with usernames. Maybe we can somehow visually separate them from the message. Let's see what does the library offer. White, highlight, look, method bold. Maybe we can make names bold. I think that it is enough for colors. Otherwise our chat will look like a rainbow. So let's try. We wrap a user's name into a color object and call method bold. This method will return an already formatted string. Then we can append a message to this string. And that's it. It's time to test our user-friendly chat in action. I'll open several windows and we start. Looks not bad, right? We have successfully cleared this mess of messages. Now it is obvious whether it is a message from a user or from the chat itself. Also, messages from users really look a bit nicer when being separated from the user's name. Now compare with the chat we had before. Really, our new version looks much friendlier.